How's it going guys, it's Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video we're doing a benchmarking of the LG Nexus 4 with its Snapdragon S4 Pro processor and 2GB of RAM. So we'll go ahead and start with the first benchmark which is going to be Quadrant Professional. So basically what I'm going to do for all the benchmarks is I'm just going to run it and then I'm going to skip through the process so you guys can get straight to the results. Alright, so the Quadrant Benchmark is done. You can see it scored a 4639, so 4639. Go ahead and go to the next benchmark, which is going to be Antutu. So I'll go ahead and tap on this guy. And proceed to run the benchmark. Alright, so the Antutu Benchmark is done and it scored a 9643. So we'll go ahead and go to the next benchmark now, which is going to be Valamo. So go ahead and open this guy up. And we'll just run the all the chapters. Alright, so the Valamo benchmark is done. In HTML5, it scored 1,276. And in the Metal benchmark, it scored 572. Alright, so now we'll run GL benchmark. Go ahead and hit performance tests and then start. Alright, so the GL benchmark is done. We'll go ahead and take a look at the scores. This benchmark actually took over 15 minutes, so a really long one. I'll just kind of go ahead and scroll through here so you guys get a good idea as far as uh, all these little scores here. But I want to work my way down to the bottom so you guys can see the frames per second. So I'll go ahead and freeze it over here for a few seconds. And now we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and show you the final scores here. So 23 frames per second here, 16, 54, and then 46. Alright, so we'll go ahead and go to the final benchmark, which is CF Bench. Alright, so the CF Benchmark is done. We'll go ahead and scroll down to the results. And you can see the results right over here. So go ahead and bring this up closer to the camera. Your device, which is the LG Nexus 4, is right here, scoring a 16,641, 4,919, and 9,607. You can see the HC One X and the Galaxy S3 actually score above it in this case. So that pretty much concludes the benchmarking of the Nexus 4. Of course, you know these are just benchmarks. I'd recommend checking out some of our speed tests we've done on the channel, which you know basically tests the real-world performance as far as the speed of opening apps, booting up browser tests, etc. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you.